Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I just haven't really been into it recently. I couldn't think of any good ideas. I know it's been three months, but right now, I'm about to just do some, like, how you throw, like, baseball pitches, like curveballs, change-ups, sliders, knuckleballs, fastballs, two seams, whatever you can think of. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing that. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, yep, um, I'll just get started right now. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to throw a fastball, but in case you don't, you just, like, grip it, like, right over, like, where the big part of the seams is, you turn it sideways, you grip it like that, and just, like, throw it out in front, but a two seam, instead of putting your fingers over the big part, you see the big part, turn it around, like that, Put your fingers on top of those laces. Release the same way as you throw a fastball, like this. That one didn't really move is because I'm standing probably like 10 to 15 feet away from a net. But in a normal bullpen, that would move in towards a righty, away towards a lefty. And, yeah, so that's basically how you throw a two-seam fastball. I'm not going to demonstrate a four-seam because anybody should be able to throw them. We went on to something a little bit hard. Um, The change-up. It's not that hard, but for beginners, it could be pretty challenging. So, you want to get your grip like it's a two-seam fastball, except you take your ring finger and your middle finger Put them on the laces the way you put your um, pointer finger and your middle finger. Just put your middle finger and ring finger. Have them t have your pinky on the other side, thumb on the other side, and your finger just above the thumb. And just release it out in front. That one actually kind of moved down, so that's pretty good. Now for a circle change. Um, yeah, for a circle change, same ex same exact grip for a um, regular change-up, except with your thumb and pointer finger, you're going to make a circle like that. And then just release it the same way. And it should, should almost move like a two-seamer, kind of. Except it's like a two-seam change-up, if that makes sense. So it should move to the right side. Like that. And now for a curveball. Now, I learned how to throw a curveball when I was like 11 years old. So, I wait till you're 11 or your, approve, your coach's approval to start throwing curveballs. Because they could put a lot of pressure on your arm, alright? But, here's a grip for a curveball. You take the pointer finger and your middle finger. Connect them. Put them. Remember the big part? Turn aside was you, you're throwing a two seam, as, same exact grip as a two seam fastball, except you bring your pointer finger to the right side of the ball and connect it with um, the middle finger. You want to hold it just like that. Then my dad always told me to release it like you're throwing a football, like out in front. Once again, I won't really move because I like standing 15 feet away from the net, but we'll, let's go. That was actually not bad. There's also a thing called a curveball trainer. You will hold it the same exact way you throw a normal curveball. It's like two baseballs stacked on each other. It's supposed to spin this way. If it spins this way, you're not doing it right. If, you, if it spins up and down, up and down, you're doing it right. Um, I don't really know how much they are, but I'll put a link to it, one in the description. Like from like Amazon or something. And the final... Uh, We'll do two more pitches. This one's a slider. So the big part, as we'll just know that as the big lace. The big lace. You connect your pointer and middle finger like that. Put it on the side of the laces like that. And then you want it, and when you throw it, you want to like, when, you th when you're throwing it, you want to snap. You want to, when it gets out in front, you want to snap 
so it slides. Snap, so it slides. Snap, slides. Snap, slides. Remember that. Snap, slides. Not a bad pitch. All right, guys. I'll have to go get another ball to show you the last pitch. All right. So, last pitch, but I don't really throw this pitch because it's kind of hard to control from, like, 60 feet away. It's called it's the knuckleball. Um, I try throwing it once in like warm ups. We're like warming up before the inning. Not go too well. Um, I kind of throw it. There's a lefty stand. There's a lefty standing there. It like went like a long way behind him. So I don't recommend. But if you have like the control and strength to do it, I'll show you how you throw one. So pretty much you could. You could hold it any way, but remember big lace. Um, I like to turn it sideways like that. Then since it's a knuckleball, you want to grip it like not like that. Point your fingers down and grip the ball with your fingertips like that. Let it out front. And if it spins, I mean, yeah, if it spins, you did it wrong. If it doesn't spin that much or at all then you you basically did it right so with that being said that's the video I'll upload a hitting tips video or I don't know hitting lessons video in a little bit but as now I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe now I'll see you guys later goodbye everybody